What's up guys? It is Artie and I yeah, apologize that I have not done a video in so long. So here is my video. And I'm off to a great start already. Um yeah, so I am ten months on tea, which is cool. Uh Yep, uh, yep, mm hmm This is why I shouldn't make videos in the morning when I just wake up, because, uh, it's not, it's not a winner. It's, it's not good. Um, so I will try and fill you in on all the stuff that has been happening for me over the past, I don't know, two, two-ish, three, maybe more months that I haven't done a video, but, um, yeah, so I'm ten months on tea changed quite a bit. It's gone so fast now. Um, I think the last thing I mentioned in, in my videos was I had a consult. I booked a consult with Andy Ives, um, who's a plastic surgeon in Melbourne, um, who will be doing my top surgery. But um, I'm booked in. I have, I have booked in my top surgery, which is amazing. And I... Yeah, it's, I should have made this video yesterday. Yesterday there was 69 days until my top surgery, and today there's 68. Ugh, it's just not as exciting, it's, it's not. So I'm sorry guys, I let you down. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's the thing, I'm booked in for top surgery. It's on November 22. I'm saving as much as I can, uh, because I'll need quite a bit of time off work, because my job's pretty physical. And yeah, I'm hella excited. Um, Ollie just mentioned to me last night that his um, family's getting a beach house for about two weeks, which is, <clears throat> I think it was from the uh, the 18th to the 25th or something of, of January, and s six weeks post-op for me would be like January 3rd. So I'm kind of really torn because I would have just taken six to eight weeks off work um, to recover from top surgery. Um, but I really want to go to the beach, being post up and just go around shirtless, which is, yeah. So, money or experience being shirtless for the first time shortly after top surgery. Conflicting, conflicting. Um, <clears throat> oh, uh, so. What the, what the hap is with my top surgery is um, I'm not going to have nipples for the first two months-ish, approximately, because um, I've I've decided to get nipple reconstruction um, instead of nipple grafts, just because I don't think that I would be happy with the results that that. Um, I would get with nipple grafts, not saying that, you know, other people who get get nipple grafts have bad results. Just for me personally, I wouldn't be happy with that on myself. So I'm getting them reconstructed. Um, but you have to wait, I think it's six to eight weeks after um, top surgery to let your chest settle, yada, 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 so you don't get nips all in the wrong spots. <coughs> so that's the thing. That's gonna be so weird. I'm not gonna have nipples for for about a month and a half, two months. Just uh, I don't even know how long. It just depends when I can when I can get them get them put on there because it's two separate sort of surgeries. I actually don't think I go under for that. I just think it's I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, that's the thing. So I'm not gonna have nipples. It's gonna be really strange. Um, <clears throat> it's going actually very fast to my top surgery, which is good because I am so ready for it. Like, I was, <clears throat> I've actually got my, um, I haven't got a letter from a psychologist or psychiatrist, whatever, saying that I'm not a nut job and that I'm, I'm allowed to get top surgery yet, but I'm booked in for next Thursday and then, um, I think around the 20th. 20th of October, and then I'll get my letter, I'm assuming, um, but yeah, like, I, there's been a good couple of months in, in between, like, when I, when I booked it, 
and um, now, and uh, I was pretty nervous about it for for quite a long time. And like, obviously, I wanted it. Like, if I could just skip the whole whole process of getting top surgery and the drains, I'm so freaked out about the drains. If I could skip all that and just get a flat chest right now, I would. Like, yeah, I totally just lost my train of thought, but, um, <clears throat> basically, I am so ready for a flat chest, but there was a really good, decent chunk of time that I was, like, hella freaked out about the actual surgery, because I've never been under before, I've never had surgery, I'm a little surgery virgin, not for long, <clears throat> but it's good, I've worked through all, the, all of that, and I'm pretty prepared, prepared for it now, I think. Um, with, I'm gonna go see, uh, Psych and just to get my letter, but I'm sure he can sort of give me some, some strategies to prepare myself mentally, physically even further, which I think is really important. I'm very much a man who likes to have a plan. I have to have everything planned out, even if it's three years in advance, I need to know what I need to do. Um, yeah, so... That's a thing. I'm not really going to go into the whole physical changes and that um, <clears throat> over the past 10 months because I just can't be bothered editing this video. I really can't. Sorry. Um, but I've changed a lot. I'm cis hetero passing. But, which is funny because I'm like, so not hetero. I'm, yeah. So that's the thing, um, yeah, I, I pass like 98% of the time, it's very, there are very few moments that I don't, don't pass, sorry about that term, analogy, uh, yeah, like I think I've been misgendered twice in the last three months, maybe more, because my theory is that these people at work who met me very early in my transition and they just don't know, so they've got this image of what I was stuck in their head, so they still see me as this thing, so, um, yeah, that's, that's the only thing I can think of, it doesn't really bother me as much as it used to, because it, like, never happens, and when it does happen, now I just think it's quite funny, because it's like, what? <laughs> um, also, I am apparently, my voice is apparently, sorry about my chimples, my chest pimples. They've just come up in the last, like, two weeks, and they're, like, hella intense. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so my voice must have dropped more, because I'm being served on the phone, which is cool. I often very much got misgendered on the phone. I know I, I had a very high, little, squeaky, pretty voice, so my voice is a lot deeper than what it was, but it's definitely not, you know, super masculine. Well, at least it wasn't up until maybe a month ago. But, um, yeah, so that's the thing. I'm passing on the phone now, which is cool. I still don't have facial hair. Let's see what the focus is. Like, I have a little bit. You can kind of see it. Like a little pedo mo. But, um, most of it's under here. And I have a bald spot. Right there. I just don't grow any hair. Um, I stopped using minoxidil just because... Fuck that shit. That is too much effort. I cannot be bothered. Um, so I just thought, you know, my beard will come whenever it wants to now. I think it was more important to me before because I wasn't being seen as male. So I was just doing everything I could to, like, increase my chances because I was going insane. But um, now I am being seen as a guy more often than, than not. It's actually really rare for me to be misgendered, so I don't really care as much about having having a, having a beard. Um, like, I would like it, but it's not as much of an issue as, um, as what it was. So, anyway, I will leave this video at that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that it was terrible. I shouldn't make videos in the morning, but here I am making a video in the morning. I think I say that every time I've um, made a video. Uh, 
So, yeah, that's the thing. I booked him for top surgery. 68 days, November 22. Save the date. Um, I don't use minoxidil. I'm 10 months on tea. Oh, so, um, yeah, my, my surgery is on November 22. My one year on tea is November 20. And I'm due <clears throat> for my next shot on, like, November 18. It's going to be a pretty intense couple of days. <laughs> Because I hate getting my shot. I get, so I'm, I'm on Reandrin, which is every, it's meant to be every 12 weeks, but I'm every 10 because I go through hormone withdrawals really quickly, apparently. Um, yeah, so I get really worked up and I, I freak out about it and it hurts. It hurts my butt. So I think it takes me a couple of days to actually not be sore from it, like, and I'm a lot better with it now. I think I've had like a, my fifth, fourth or fifth jab or something. But um, I still freak out about it. Like la the last time, I th it was actually last Friday that I had my um, most recent recent shot. And um, like I wasn't freaking out until I was on the bed laying down. I was like, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And I was just wiggling my toes and I was just just trying to just trying to deal with it. But I still freaked out about it. So it's going to be a pretty intense couple of days getting my shot. One year on T. So one year birthday for me. I should have a party. And then top surgery. And yeah, it's, it's all happening. It is all happening in November, folks. All right, you guys. What was that that I just said? All right, you guys. So I'm going to... Stop the video now because I I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead. All right, thank you for watching. I'm sorry this video was so shitty, but I just thought I should update you guys with how I'm doing. Let you know that I'm still alive. I've booked in my top surgery. I'm almost a year on T. I'm like two months off, obviously, which is ten months. And I'm doing my thing. I'm working lots, and I'm saving for a tattoo. And, well, I'm saving to, because I won't be working for a long time, I'm saving so I've got some actual money for that time, and everything that I don't spend in that period of time that I'm not working is going to my tattoo. I'm going to get a really sick chess piece, and I will make a video about what I'm thinking um, I will get, because I'm still playing around with some ideas, but... Anyway, I think I've ended this video three times, so this is the video ending number four, and I'm actually going to do it. I'll speak to you guys later. Bye!